Okay, class, so here we are um, doing this from my home. Um, I went out and bought a larger whiteboard so that I can use it um, just like I did in the, um, take these off, in the, uh, the classroom. So um, we're just going to continue on. We're going to um, cover chapter two, this uh, module. So um, for your standalone, it's 2.1. And then for the co-rec, it's 2.1 and 2.2. So this is just a um, introduction to functional notation and what a function is. So we're going to start with being able to read a graph. So with functional notation, all that means is we're um, identifying the function. So this is our function. This is the graph of our f function. We're able to identify it as the f function. So remember, whenever you have the, um, the notation f of x. This is just meaning that we have a function. We're calling it the f function. This is exactly the same thing as y. There's really no difference. All it is is now it has a name. It has an f function. If we wrote it as g of x, now we have a new function. We're calling it g so that we have a distinction between the f function and the g function. Um, it's a name. It still means y. So don't let that throw you. It just means y. So when you're reading a graph, if we're looking at this f function, okay, and it has um, a little bit more going on than just your straight line, like what we're used to seeing, or a parabola, we've, we will uh, work with those quite a bit. <clears throat> what this means is this is saying, just like here, when it has f of x, this is saying our function is in terms of x, okay? What this is saying is our function f, so our f function, but what we're doing is re replacing the x with 3. So we're asking what is going on when x is 3? So when you're reading a graph, you're going to come over here. Here's x is 3. We're looking at our graph. What's happening right at x is 3? So right here at x is 3, if you can see that, our graph crosses the x-axis. So when x is 3, y is 0. So that's what this is saying. When I have the x value of 3, my y value is 0. Now, how you are used to seeing this is in the format 3, 0. It's an ordered pair. When x is 3, y is 0. This is saying what's happening on our graph when x is negative 3. So I come over here to my graph at negative 3, and I can see my graph crosses the x-axis again right at negative 3. So when x is negative 3, my y value is 0 again. So in other words, I have an x-intercept here, and I have an x-intercept here, and I have an x-intercept clear over here. Okay, now I haven't asked you what's going on at x is, when x is negative 8. That's not a question that I'm asking you yet. All I'm doing is I'm saying what's going on with our graph. So here, this is saying in my f function, when x is 2, what is my graph doing? So I'm going to come here. Here is x is 2. There's really, excuse me, nothing going on up here. But if I come down to my graph at x is 2, you can see my y value is right about between negative 3 and negative 4. So sometimes it doesn't give you an exact value, but you know it's in between two values. So when x is 2, my y value right here is between negative 3 and negative 4. So I'm going to call it negative 3.75. It's not exact, but I'm giving you an about. It's about that place. Here, it's saying what's going on with my graph, or what's happening in my graph, when x is negative 6. So I come over here. Here's x is negative 6. There's nothing going on down here. So I'm going to come up to where my graph is, and I'm going to read what is my y value right about there. Okay. So because this is a hand-drawn graph, it doesn't look exact, so we're going to call it x or y value is about 6. Okay, so when you have a value inside those parentheses, that's calling out the x value. The x value is the value inside the parentheses. What's my graph doing at that value? 
Okay, now we're going to switch it up a little bit. I just lost my, <laughs> my, uh, sorry, my dog is home. She's home too. Okay, I don't know where my rag is. I just had it. Anyway, okay, so now we're going to ask a different question. All of these questions were saying when x was one value, what's the y value? All right, so on this one, when x is 2, y is a negative 3.75. When x is negative 6, y is also 6. Now it's showing when f of x is 0. Okay, so remember what I said. f of x is just another way to say y. So this is actually saying when y is 0, what's my x value? So notice I have an x here. That's my unknown. I don't know what it is. So this is saying the x or the y value is zero. So I'm going to come here, and I already have them circled for you. When my y value is zero, I have an x value at three, but I also have an x value at negative three and negative eight. So sometimes you're going to have more than one y value. It depends on what your graph is doing. With this one, when y is 0, I have an x value here, here, and here. So you have to look across the entire graph to identify what your y value is. So in this case, if I asked you this question, when f of x is 0 or when y is 0, my x value is going to be negative 8, comma, negative 3, comma, positive 3. So I'm identifying these three places when y is 0. Now, if you remember when we were graphing uh, linear equations and we were graphing it in terms of our x and our y-intercept, this is what we're doing. We're, we're identifying our x-intercepts. When y is 0, x is here, here, and here. So 3, negative 3, and negative 8. So when it asks in this terms, f of x, let's say when y is um, 1, Okay, so let's see what our graph is doing when y is 1. So I'm going to come up here on my graph. Here's y equals 1. I'm going to come over. So I have an x value here. I have an x value here. And I have an x value here. So again, I have three different places. Now, it's not going to be exact. Excuse me. It's not going to be exact because I had 3, negative 3, negative 8. So it's going to be about you know, a little bit, 3 plus, negative 3, and negative 8 a little bit. It's going to be off just a little bit. But when you're identifying what your y value is, make sure you look across the entire um, graph. Let's try one more. What if I said f of x when the y value is 6? Okay. So I'm going to come up here. When my y value is 6, I'm going to track over to what my graph is doing. So we already answered this question once because it said when x is negative 6, y is 6. Well, this is saying when y is 6, x is a negative 6, but it's also here, too. So it's between 2 and 3, so 2 point, I don't know, 5. We'll, we'll say it's about 2.5, 2.75. Okay, so make sure you look at the entire graph to identify the x and the y. Okay, so this is um, when you're reading a graph and you're able to read off of the graph what the x value is, find the y. If they give you the x value, find the y. If they give you the y value, you're going to find all the x's because so, sometimes there's going to be more than one.